Hi, and welcome everybody to today's webinar. My name is Hendrik Braun. I'm pre-sales engineer at Neptune Software, and I will host this webinar with its topic, Neptune Launchpad, more than just a dashboard. I hope everybody can hear me well. All right, so um, let's start. At first, I want to talk um, about the agenda of today's webinar. So I will start with um, the idea of the Neptune Launchpad as a single point of entry for end users. Um, then I will talk about the single sign-on capabilities, the Neptune Launchpad layouts, and the Neptune Launchpad capabilities, of course. After that, um, I will give you a quick live demo of the Neptune Launchpad and how this works with the Neptune Launchpad layouts. So let's start with the Neptune Launchpad as a single point of entry and the single sign-on. With the possibility of reaching different SAP systems and non-SAP backends and services, the Neptune Launchpad provides you a nice way to access data from everywhere via one website or mobile application. Our approach to provide different backends and services in one Launchpad enables you to provide your users a homogeneous interface. In the ideal case, the end user does not notice which data source or service he's currently using. The users can access all their needed application through one launchpad and you are able to manage which application he's able to see. This, possible, this is possible by um, using your existing SAP roles or by creating new policies with the Neptune DXP. By using a single sign-on service, you can provide an even better user interface, uh, user experience, sorry. With one login credential, all integrated data is, is accessible for the user. He's not, he does not um, have to log in on different services or backends via the Launchpad. This is all, uh, this is all done by the Neptune Launchpad. The Neptune DXP supports Microsoft, Microsoft Azure AD, the LDAP, um, the LDAP protocol, and for SAP systems, we of course support every provider or technology that is supported by SAP. Now let's talk about the Launchpad layouts. You might know the um, Launchpad, the Fiori Launchpad and their, and their layouts. With the Neptune Launchpad, you are now able to create um, a different color set for your tiles. And of course, um, you are able to, to do even more than that. You are, you are now able to create a whole new Launchpad layout with different, with different background images, with different color sets of your tiles. And um, yeah, you can basically switch every part of this, um, of the launch pad to your design and um, your company's CI. And yeah, however you want to um, have your launch pad looks like. And this is not only um, possible for the Neptune launch pad in browsers, it's even possible for your mobile application or your mobile client. So next I want to talk about the um, Neptune Launchpad capabilities. So yeah, most of you already saw this um, Fiori Launchpad and maybe even our um, Neptune Launchpad with the Fiori design. But um, yeah, let me give you a quick introduction to, um, to our launchpad. And um, yeah, for that, I will switch to a live launchpad. 
So this is, um, yeah, this is the Neptune launch pad with um, the Fiori design. And on this um, left side of this launch pad, you will see my, um, my username and uh, we have a home button, which brings you from every point in where you're, where you're currently at in this launch pad back to your home screen. We have a menu item, which called all, all apps, which shows you every app. This is um, right now included in this launch pad. You see we have 122 apps running, not running, but uh, included in this launch pad. If I click on it, I'll have an overview group by um, the tile groups I will um, come up with. And there is a search bar, which is a live search. So if you want to um, search for something, you just type, start typing and um, yeah, the app will reduce by your filtering. We have a uh, menu item for all menus, which are um, our tile groups. This has the same um, functionality as the all apps button. And um, yeah, it represents or it shows all, all groups that are represented on the launch pad. And if I click, for example, on this finance um, group, it automatically opens this group and I can um, start from here and opening, for example, our finance dashboard and show how, um, how fast we get data from our SAP backend and how nice we can um, use charts in apps. All right, go, let's go back to the home screen. We also have this nice feature of split view. So um, this, if I click on this, this will um, divide the um, screen in two parts and you can here um, show yeah, two apps at the same time in one launch pad and you can uh, work in each of them. So I done, I've done this here for with the work order list and the notification app. But easy as that, you can get back to your home screen and um, yeah, can we can go on. So there's a, a most used section on the left side where you see all the apps that are um, yeah, most used by, by your um, SAP user or your user you're currently logged in. And um, of course you can start it from each app from here. And there is a favorites um, section. So each tile which is representing an app can be set as a favorite. So for example, I will do this now for the BW reports. I just right click on this tile and I get my um, favorite button. So I click on it and it's directly um, shown here. Of course, you can unfavorite it um, by again, right clicking and uh, hit the button unfavorite. So yeah, that's for the, for the left menu part. Um, if you see on top, we have um, some groups here, which are um, our main tie groups. For example, the main category, Planet 8, Home. And if I click on one of these groups, the view slides smoothly, scrolls smoothly um, to that group. So for example, if I click on resources, you can see it better that it um, yeah, slides down. The main category shows us that there is more than um, just these groups on top. If you um, take a look at the finance tile here, you see that this looks like it's stacked. Um, these are um, stacked tiles, and this indicates that this tile is not representing an application, but a tile group. So if I click on this, it will open again our, um, our tile group finance, financial dashboard. And um, yeah, this shows you how easily you can um, manage even very complex launch pads by um, yeah, stacking groups in groups. So you can um, have several groups in, in one group or even deeper stacked. So that gives you a nice way to, um, to manage your complex launch pads. So as I started the financial dashboards, um, I, can, I can restart it again. You see that we have on top on the right here, um, 
a taskbar with a button which is representing our financial dashboard. So if I click, sorry, if I click on this, you can uh, close the application here or set it as favorite, as we saw on the um, on the tiles directly. But this um, indicates that there is another capability of the Neptune Launchpad, which um, gives you a real um, a real value to your um, daily work with Launchpad. So if I go back to my home button and um, to the main category, I will uh, I would like to open another app. For example, again our work order list apps app. I click on it, and now you see there's a second uh, the second button here, which represents for um, the work order list app, of course. But if I now change something in in this app. For example, I will um, change my created from date and created to date, which doesn't make sense if I put it to future, like this, and um, go now back to my financial um, dashboard. I can just click here and it switches back to it. And the cool thing now is you maybe have noticed that um, the applications still remain in the same state as I left it before. So you see now I will click on this gross profit button and switch now back to my to my um, work order list apps. Just click here, I switch back and I can still see my created form uh, from and created two dates. That means if I go back to the app, the app is not rendered again. It still remains in the same state that uh, it had before. So you can switch between apps easily looking up some data, changing some data in another app, and then go back and work from the same, yeah, from the same position you, um, you left the application. So this will really bring um, a value to your, to your daily work. But there's another cool app, um, capability of the, um, yeah, the Neptune Launchpad. And um, I will show you this with um, again with our work order list app. So you see this app only um, has the only thing that this app does is to show us a list of our work orders. And of course, I can filter it on, on the left side, but um, that's not the point. The point is that if I want to see this entry here, like coffee machine awesome, switching um, coffee machine, I can just um, click on this one and another app is opened directly from the application work order list. So that means I can start and run applications from inside of another application and can even hand over data. So all the entries here in this app are coming from the work order list. This needs to be um, done programmatically, of course, when you create the app. But what that means is you can, um, yeah, you can create workflows for your end users, which they can use in the Neptune Launchpad. That means you can reduce the possibility of errors and, and you can increase the, um, yeah, the speed, how these workflows or how um, your processes can be fulfilled. So and this is not this can um, can go even deeper. So for example, if I want to, um, for example, change something in this application, or I want to um, confirm this work order, I click here, and there's a third app opened. So I have now I really have a workflow. I can uh, have my work order list. I can see the the properties of a single work order, and I can confirm this um, this work order with three different different apps. So I can create my apps and can also reuse them for different purposes. So this is really, really a nice um, capability of the Neptune Launchpad. And um, yeah, this is um, all I have to say about our Neptune Launchpad capabilities. I think there's a lot of cool features. So I will switch back to my PowerPoint. And um, yeah, so now we saw, we already saw the um, Neptune Launchpad in uh, live running. 
Now I will show you how to create, how easy you can create a launch pad and how easy you can create um, your launch pad layout and integrate into it. So for this, of course, I will switch back to uh, my browser and you will see this is our um, Net Neptune cockpit. As um, some of you already know, I will um, now create first create a new launch pad. So I go to the menu point run and launch pad and easily click on add. So I can now give a name, a description and a template if I want to. A template is um, like I can use an existing launch pad as my template and just change something of it, but we want to create a new one. So I will call this launch that webinar oh, it's it's a name so descriptions webinar launchpad and now click on create and it's created i can open it so this is this is basically the um, yeah the main preferences of this launchpad so I want to have, um, yeah, you see in general, we, we have the ID, the name, we can set an icon and description. We can set our um, start applications. Um, if we want to, we can um, add a launchpad enhancement. This will be um, the topic of another webinar coming up soon. And um, yeah, our custom start application and so on many, many, um, properties to enter, but I will um, just show you how easy you can have your first launchpad running. So I will just add an icon. If you click on here, you can, oh, sorry, that is not what I'm, uh, what I'm wanted. I want to have my custom logo, sorry for that. And um, yeah, just click on it and then you can um, search your, you can search your, um, media directory in your media files and I have icons here I want to have um, this one for example and um, the most important thing of your of your um, launchpad is your of course your tiles which represent your application and your tie groups so I will um, just add a tie group which is um, predefined before and let's see let's search for the financial dashboard tile this is this tie group I just selected and now I have one tie group. If I click on this, I see which tiles are already included and um, yeah, which app they are representing. So basically, if I, if I save now, my launch pad is ready to go. So if I click on run, my launch pad webinar starts and it shows the icon, which is a bit too big. I can uh, change that later, but it has already all the, all the tiles which are um, included in my tile group and I'm ready to use it. So, but this is not the nice layout I want to have. I want to have a cool Neptune, um, Neptune software layout. So um, yeah, I will show you now how easy you can, you can create a, a layout and add it to your to your launchpad. So I click on, uh, just click on layout and add a new one as we already know for, uh, for the uh, launchpad. So let's give it a name, layout webinar, description we already have. So create layout. And this is the layout creation tool. <coughs> where you have, sorry for that, where you have on the left side, um, yeah, all the possible um, properties you can, you can um, change, which, um, yeah, will change the layout of this, of this launchpad. You have on the right side, your, um, your um, preview launchpad and where you can just see how, um, your layout changes would look on um, yeah on your launchpad. So let's search for our just created uh, webinar launchpad. Um, 
Launchpad webinar. So here we have it. Now it's changed, and I see my I see my Launchpad. So um, yeah, I will I will um, just have a nice looking Neptune CI Launchpad. So what I will do is I can use um, our suggested color palette. So um, we know that it uh, can be can be tough to find nice colors which are uh, working together pretty well. So we provided you uh, a couple of color suggestions, color palette suggestions, which you can use. And um, as you see, those um, we have those um, suggestions here, and they have nice coloring, which is uh, which fits together good. And this will uh, preset, um, yeah, basically all of the of the um, settings in your layout by just clicking it. I want to have this Neptune yellow light, so I click on it, and you see it has directly um, changed to to that coloring. So um, yeah, let's see. This group text here is a bit too light, I would guess. So let's um, let's change that. Do it a little. Um, I think a little darker would be nice. So um, yeah, this is a group title. Let's scroll down to that um, to that section where I can change it. Um, tie group. Here we have it. So tie color, title color. Sorry, that is what we want to change. Let's see. Um, I would say a bit darker, like this one. Use selected color. Yeah. So now we have it in the same color as the top menu, and um, this looks way better. But that's not all. I just want to. I now my background is just an um, just a color. I want to have a nice background picture. So um, yeah, let's find where we can do that. We have the um, section page, and here we can have a shale background image. And this is what we want to change. I click on it, and now we are again in our media library. So I can uh, search for nice backgrounds here. And if I click, I see my backgrounds. And maybe we can use. Now let's first take a look how it would look if we put a picture on the background. So I use business travel pic. All right, you see, this is. Uh, just not looking well, but the idea is that you can uh, just put pictures maybe from your company's building or something um, on the background. But uh, yeah, or maybe this one. You see, that's just easy as that. With a click, you can you can switch to all your um, background pictures you want to have. And but I want to have this nice background. So. If I save my layout now, I can switch back to my launchpad and add this layout um, yeah, to my launchpad so I can select it. Let's go back, launchpad. We are still in our settings area and here we have the button layout. We have again our preview of the, of the current launchpad. And if I click the add and remove, button I can search for my layout webinar which is uh, this one I can select it and now I see it here in my in my overview and the thing is we have now both of these layouts in um, yeah integrated in our launchpad so we can dynamically switch um, directly in the in the launch pad, which layout we want to have, but which one is first loaded depends on the um, uh, if it's if it's in this list on the first place or second or third place. So yeah, let's save and go back to our launch pad. I will just reload it, and here we have it with our new Neptune launch pad. But actually, I just don't like this um, this icon. Let's go back to um, to our launchpad and change this icon quickly, so we have a nice, better view. So I just go back to my custom logo, and to 
Neptune icons. And this was 170 more. This is just too big. Let's use this 44. Save. Reload. And yeah, this looks quite better. So yeah, that's how you can integrate um, the Neptune layouts into your Neptune Launchpad. And that's it for this webinar. Thank you for um, watching, for listening. If you have questions, feel free to um, to send us email or do to um, yeah put the in this webinar. So thanks.